Hi, welcome back. I'm Roxanne and welcome back to my channel. Everything about Hallmark, but of course, you know, I'm still going through withdrawal. I keep saying this, I know. And I have been focusing on when calls the heart. So I have some predictions. Now this is just fun stuff. Of course, I'm just a viewer and a researcher. I am not privy to anything special. And you might disagree and that's great. As long as you're kind and nice about it, you can definitely put that in the comments. That would be great and I will respond. But I have some ideas for Allie. Now not, I mean, Allie does have Allie's a mom. mom, of course, passed away. It's Nathan's sister. And Nathan is like mom and dad now to her. But I really think she could use some female guidance. And especially during the uh, time period that the story is taking place. So I have some ideas. So one of the ideas is uh, Florence. So Florence has a son, Paul, and Allie and Paul kind of have this cute little thing going on. I think Paul's clueless, but there's um, in season eight, I think it is episode, if you hold on, I'll tell you when exactly it is. In episode nine, the pre-wedding jitters episode, um, you'll see an interaction between Paul and Allie, and Allie's like, you know, the job, my my job is boring, and Paul's like, but my mom likes her job, and, and I think she likes it because she gets to talk to Mr. Yost, and Allie's like, yeah, it is nice to always have someone to talk to, and she's trying to get his attention because her heart's a little broken because Robert's been sort of showing more time with Emily. But anyway, I think that cute little relationship would be great with the influence of his mom, Florence, and she could kind of look over her and watch over her, especially because I heard in um, an interview with um, the actor Kevin, who plays Nathan, and um, Paul Green, he, Kevin was saying that he was he get, was given um, some notes from one of the writers saying that they have these big plans for some great adventures and some wild fun things for Nathan in season nine. So it's not like, you know, he's going to go right into another love interest. He's, we're going to learn more about him. So while he's on these adventures, someone would have to look after Allie and maybe because she started to build a relationship with Florence, that would be great. And um, it would be cute because it would have like a connection with um, little Paul too. And then I have another idea. I'm thinking Rosemary because Rosemary has that nurturing, loving way for all people. And of course, she and um, her husband are really wishing they could start their own family. And, and they've dedicated their lives now into he might run for mayor and she has the valley voice and she's got that creative part in her that she wants to do, but she wants it to be meaningful. So um, I heard, um, I watched an interview with Pascal and she was saying that she was asked if there was a character that she wished she could interact more with. And she's like, yes, the character of Allie. She thinks that Allie and um, uh, Rosemary have a lot in common. They're both feisty and she could sort of like watch out for her, mentor her, and the two of them probably could get into some trouble because Allie does like to spy, just like, you know, um, Pascal, well not Pascal, I'm sorry, Rosemary likes to eavesdrop sometimes and dig for dirt and stuff. So that would be a really cute relationship there. And the relationship between Elizabeth and Allie definitely needs to be repaired. And I would love to see the dynamic of Lucas being involved because I have a whole theory on that and predictions about that, but I will save that for another show. But definitely, Elizabeth and Allie need to repair their relationship. They have to find um, like a way to sit and talk about what happened, especially with Nathan. And they are adorable together, and they're very much like mother-daughter relationship there. And I hope it continues, especially because she's, you know, the teacher. I have that, like, parent, like, parental relationship a lot with a lot of my students. So that must continue. And what I like about that is because it can add an edge to the story. Maybe Lucas is a little jealous, although I don't think he would be. Maybe Nathan's a little awkward with it. Maybe down the line, um, as, you know, Elizabeth and Allie really do, you know, seal their friendship and make it stronger again because it always comes, you know, out of pain and it, it can become stronger. And that's how you have life lessons 
lessons. Even Elizabeth says that in her journaling in one of the uh, last episodes. I think it's actually episode 12. But anyway, you know, Nathan will get like an, uh, a love interest and maybe, you know, build a, try to build a relationship with Allie and, Allie and it might not work. And there could be this whole conflict with Elizabeth. So we got to create some drama for good TV, right? And maybe they'll hire me as a writer. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Shook the camera. And then my last one. Oh, I would love, not that she's going to be, you know, Nathan's partner, but I would love to see a relationship between Fiona and Allie because Allie is a younger version of Fiona. They're both gorgeous and they're both like, they can do anything and they're spicy and um, sh girly, even though they're also tomboyish. They're very interesting characters and those two would like mirror each other. And there was like a little hint. Writers just don't put things in there just accidentally. But if you remember in um, season eight, episode nine, I believe it was the wedding. There's a scene, I think it's nine, hold on, I'll look. I stand corrected, it is season eight, episode 10 is the wedding. And um, they're in the wedding, uh, they're at the church, and they're getting ready for the wedding to start, and um, Allie goes over to Fiona and says, could you help me with my hair? And she's like, sure, she goes, Un Uncle Nathan tried, and he has like these braids done in the back, and she turns around, and Fiona looks, and Fiona's like, oh, this looks like a dropper loop, and, and she's like, Allie's like, you know what a dropper loop is? And she goes, of course I do, because, you know, her brother's fish, she knows how to fish, and Allie gets this big smile on her face, she's like, oh. Ooh. So who knows, you know, Allie might start trying to matchmake like she did with Elizabeth and, and Nathan and maybe try to do a little matchmaking between Fiona and um, Nathan. I'm not saying that's where it's going to go. We don't need to get in an uproar and, and all of that, but I'm just saying it could be part of a storyline, but they definitely could build a relationship together that would be adorable. And again, let's say Nathan does get a love interest. Try She tries to, you know, develop a relationship with Allie and now there's Fiona, or wouldn't it be great if there was Fiona and there was Elizabeth and there were um, also Rosemary and also Florence. They all had their hands in it and and the poor woman you know has to like get the approval of all four of them which is kind of like what Hope Valley's like I remember when they first started the episode back where little Jack was born and everyone was taking their turns and helping Elizabeth out and that sounds like a great plan because she was a single mom on the frontier and they all pitched in which is definitely the Hope Valley way and they all need to pitch in and like I said Believe it or not, Lucas has been pitching in. And there are going to be some of you that are going to get an uproar over that. But there are a lot of scenes, not a lot, but like there's not millions of scenes. <laughs> but there are quite a few scenes between them, meaningful scenes. And that's a whole other thing, which I will upload next week for my prediction video. Okay, thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you put in the comments what you think. Do you have any predictions about Allie and finding her a mom or a mother figure? And it doesn't have to be one person, but here's the only thing that I ask, that we be kind to each other. Let's, let's do it the Hope Valley way. We could disagree and that's okay, but we have to be kind to each other. All right, thank you. You have a good one.